When we break it down, a joystick is really just two potentiometers and a bunch of buttons. So in order to understand a joystick, we need to understand the potentiometer. And for that, we need to look at voltage dividers. A potentiometer is really just a variable voltage divider, and we can exploit that. What we have here is a five volt power supply, a multimeter, and a couple of resistors. You can see that res the resistors are hooked up in series with the negative terminal of the power supply over here and the positive terminal over here. We're taking a voltage reading off the center tap of those two resistors. Both of these resistors are 50k ohms. Now, if we modify that, we're gonna get a different value. Right now, we've got 50% of our input voltage. But if we change this to 75, now the voltage has gone down to two. So what's happening here is we're actually dividing our voltage, as would be implied by voltage divider. Now let's see how this applies to potentiometers. Here we have that same five volt power supply, the same multimeter, and a potentiometer of the same value. This is 100 K ohms, so the equivalent of those two 50 K ohm resistors. If we move the dial, what we're doing is we're moving a wiper inside the potentiometer that lets us pick where on those resistors we want to sit with that middle pin. So in the center point, we get 2.5 volts. At the extreme, we get five and zero. What this lets us do is as the joystick moves, we're gonna get different values on the potentiometer. And we can use those to reflect how many degrees the joystick has moved in the software. So this is our connection to the physical world. All right, so let's take our knowledge of voltage dividers and apply it to an Arduino. So I've taken an Arduino Micro and I've wired up a potentiometer. So we've got ground coming into the left pin, we've got five volts coming into the right pin, and the wiper pin is going to analog zero on the Micro. If we look at the code, what we're doing here is we're, we're creating an integer named analog pin and we're labeling it zero. So we have an analog pin that is pin zero. We're creating an integer named value to store our data in and we're giving it an initial value of zero. In here, we're setting up the serial console so we can actually see what's happening inside the chip. And then we go into our main loop. Here, we're just saying that we're gonna set the integer value or the integer val equal to whatever we read uh, on that analog pin that we specified. And then we're gonna take that data and then just print it to the console. So if you take a look at the console over here on the right, this is our serial monitor and it's, it's reading out what it's getting from the potentiometer. If we go up here to the potentiometer and give it a spin, we'll see that the serial monitor will have that number increment based on the position of the potentiometer all the way to 1023. So there's 1,024 discrete steps that form this analog value that we're getting from the potentiometer. And that gives us 10 bits of resolution, which we'll get into what that means later. Now I've added a switch to the circuit. Let's go over the uh, circuit changes. We've got a switch here that has a connection to ground on one side and five volts through a 10K resistor on the other side. The same side also connects to pin D3. And if we take a look at the code here, I'll just bring this up. There have been some changes here as well. We've created an int, and we've named it button, and given it the value of three. This indicates to the Arduino that we want to use digital pin three. We've created another int named B state to track the button state. In the setup function, we've created pin mode button input. And what this is going to do is set pin D3 to a digital input. Then in the loop, we have B state being set to digital read button. That's going to take whatever the current value of D3 is and put it into B state. Then we're going to print B state to the serial monitor and then delay for 100 milliseconds. So let's take a look at this and see how it works. If we watch the serial monitor here, we'll see that the potentiometer still works just as it did previously. But now if we press the button, whose default state is, is uh, one, we press the button and it goes to zero. Okay. So what this is doing is the, the pin state is being held high by this resistor going to the five volt line. That's making sure that the, the button doesn't go into an undefined state. Normally a button is either open or closed. 
but when the switch is open, the digital pin 3 is not connected to anything, and that's bad. That means that digital pin 3 could be any state. So what we want to do is we want to hold it in a known state. In this case, we want to hold it high, and then when the button is pressed, we make it go low. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for voltage dividers, analog read, and digital read for the Arduino. Next time we'll get into some more heavy duty stuff, but in the meantime, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and let me know, and I'll see if I can expand on any of the concepts here. All right, thanks for watching.